The National Science Engineering Competition is a huge competition for 11 to 18 year olds that runs completely nationwide. It's about celebrating the very best of uh, UK young engineers and UK young scientists. It's a competition that recognises people who've done creative project work in science, mathematics, engineering, technology. courtship, mating and breeding behaviour in Chilean flamingos in captivity. The aim of the project was to investigate the effect of colour and shape in the food industry. Um, I basically took apart a petrol moped, I took the engine, all the components that go along with the engine out and replaced it with an electric motor. We sent a weather balloon up into space with a camera and a payload to take pictures of the curvature of the earth. The Big Bang is about careers, it is about education, but it really is great fun to visit as well. They've got a wide range of things you can try out, and so it isn't just based around like science. I think you should really come next year, it's really fun and enjoyable. Absolutely amazing. A lot of the language you used went straight over my head. You're absolutely experts in your field. You're currently out there on the floor uh, being ready to be judged yeah. as part of the National Science and Engineering competition. We had five superb young scientists to choose from and we it was very difficult and actually what was encouraging and interesting is that, that each had sort of slightly different skills so you could you could have chosen any of them. I've been most inspired by the girls involved uh, because they're just so enthusiastic about learning about engineering. Do you know it was extremely difficult to choose a winner because all the candidates were so strong. You know, they may be young, but some of the things they've done are phenomenal. And, uh, you know, the brains humbles me. Just being at the National Science and Engineering Competition is a huge benefit to be able to see the wide, diverse range of projects and being able to compare yours against others. If my project comes out as the best, that will increase my confidence loads. It's a, it's a fantastic feeling when, when you've done all that research and all the development. No, the competition's been great. It's been very hectic, very busy, but I've loved explaining my project to so many interested people. When I came here a few days ago, I just didn't think my project was going to get anywhere, but in the top five, and I'm really proud of myself. and then it didn't come and I don't know, I just started like shaking and waiting for it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I heard my name and I just came up on stage still kind of in awe. It's, it's all kind of a blur. Quite frankly, what you're doing is you're taking kids and giving them an opportunity to focus down on a project that they love in an interest in area of science or technology or engineering or math that really allows them to see their own future. By doing that at this young age, you really inspire them to go on. It's very exciting. I have optimism for the future in that the quality of the, of the students that's coming through is clearly very high. If you're on the fence and you don't know whether to give it a go or not give it a go, do it. Like, do it. Just put everything you can into it. If you think you've got an idea, if you're, if you're passionate about science or engineering, do it. Enter online, either through the online heats or the regional heats, which are held in 12 locations across the UK in June and July.